Hello, I'm Professor Cohn. This is the Fork Supermodel Racing Review for Saturday the 30th of October 2021. Have a quick look at yesterday's results then. We had uh, no filter one races, so this is for Friday the 29th. Uh, we had an alternate at uh, Dundalk, which was on the old weather at 4.45. Um, we were looking at these three horses. Number three, Jarvis, which came second at 5-2. to two. Um, Number five, this is my dream, came fifth at 15-2. to two. And number eight, Orinoco River, which won at 94 favourite. Now, now, if you look at the uh, uh, video for yesterday, uh, we said that there was a key race that these three horses had been in, which was a listed five furlong at Dundalk. And uh, so, it's, so it uh, transpired, basically. We, uh, we were unable to split them. Uh, and if anything, uh, you know, on a purely odds basis, this is my dream. This was the horse that was raised £16 for its, uh, for its running that race. Um, and, it's, uh, and it subsequently hasn't really uh, quite done it. So, uh, so that was that. And, uh, and the winner came in at 94 uh, favourites, so it's 2.25. Nothing to write home about. So it just, just wasn't worth the, uh, the risk on the profile of the race. So yet again, we didn't bet yesterday. So uh, um, uh, that's where we were. Uh, we're still 36 units up. Um, and uh, we'll have a look at today's racing uh, now, so don't go away. Right, we're back, we've written up today's racing then. So for Saturday the 30th of October, no filter one races again. On an alternate at Weatherby National Hunt 415. Uh, this is a novice hurdle, four year old plus two miles, three furlongs, 154 yards. So that's basically uh, nearly, nearly two and a half miles, good to soft. Although we do have a lot of rain in the air at the moment, so that may go to soft. Uh, it gives us three horses to look at. Number one, Tamar Bridge, which has got an official rating of 128, and it's uh, it's uh, the 6 to 4 favourite, 6 to 5 favourite, sorry. Um, we've got number four, Storm of Light, 8 to 1, 9 to 1. Uh, it's a five year old. And number six, Hidden Heroics, now it's a four year old, and it's at 5 to 2. Now, this re we've, we've looked at this race inside out. Uh, you name it, and we we've looked at it, uh, and basically uh, the favourite, which is uh, Tamar Bridge, we we believe that that's going to um, actually it, it's not potentially a speed horse. The ground softening is is a little bit of an issue, uh, so it might come back into itself. But but we still believe that Tamar Bridge is likely to uh, be be burnt off on speed, uh, and we're at Weatherby, which is a which is a pretty quick course. Uh, and uh, the next one to look at then this is uh, number six so we'll jump uh, this other one uh, Hidden Heroics uh, this is an Irish point to pointer uh, it was it basically uh, ran uh, and won a three mile on the Fairy House point to point course which is which is a very classy point to point in Ireland um, the uh, connections and well the trainer won this race this actual race last year uh, they know what they're doing. It's five to two, but this was a three mile point to point. There's, there's, and it didn't really beat much at all. Uh, and so you're, you're gambling basically on the fact that, um, that it'll transfer uh, its this performance into into Weatherby. And the interesting one then is num number four, Storm of Light. This is eight to one, nine to one. It's a five year old. Um, it it's. Uh, it raced, uh, I think it was at Huntington, uh, uh, and and that uh, sort of transfers fairly well, uh, but but you've still got sort of we we've had a good look at the footage and assessed it using our models, and this horse um, has got potential to uh, to do well, but it, but it's sort of marginal. So this is marginal, marginal with better odds. Uh, number four, Storm of Light. This is sort of uh, uh, you've got you've got Irish point to point issues, and it's a relatively short price, five to two. And this favourite, we don't believe is going to be fast enough at uh, six to five. And if the ground softens up, it might it might um, uh, come back in its favour. So, so you've got all these imponderables, and you know it's, it's six to five. So. So you don't know about that, and we don't think it's going to have the speed. Uh, and, and and if the ground softens up, that may well not be such an issue. Um, and you've got this transference, and and so the ov the overall situation is, is this, the, the, and this is the best of of a bad job, quite frankly, today. Uh, 
that we're going to have to yet again uh, miss this miss this out and watch it. So we've, this is our sixth day without uh, any selections, solid selections or uh, betting on them. But uh, that's just the way it goes. Um, we'll, we'll stick with that. So we're going to have to watch this, sit and suffer, see what happens to that. So yesterday we uh, pretty much called it right. But, the, but sometimes if the market doesn't want to give you the odds, it doesn't want to give you the odds, you know. And uh, there's, a, there's a saying in Forex, uh, basically, that uh, if you want it, you can't get it. And if you can get it, you don't want it. So uh, that that sort of sums up racing at the moment for us on the modelling. So uh, anyway, we'll uh, we'll leave it there. Um, thanks for watching. Uh, we'll review that tomorrow, and hopefully Sunday uh, we'll we'll actually get back into betting. We will soon uh, because that's just the cycle of events. But uh, unfortunately, uh, nothing today. So uh, thanks for watching. Uh, goodbye.